Hello everyone, Scottish Lads here, and in today's review we're going to be taking a look at the Gary Anderson Phase 5. This is what you get in this part of the box. And underneath that, you get your three sets of flights and three sets of stems. Very nice big display case as you can see, so if you're a collector you can display these. But without further ado, let's crack on with it. Right guys, there we go, we've got a nice close-up look to the Unicorn Gary Anderson Phase 5 World Championship Edition. As you can see, same basic colours as the Unicorn Phase 3, there is a subtle twist in the grip which we will get to in a minute. As you can see, these were manufactured by Unicorn with the branding up there. You've got the two blue rings, it's obviously signify Gary Anderson's two World Championship wins and we also have the Unicorn Volute points in 28mm so when these hit the board, these points in particular when you twist them out there is no visible damage it doesn't pull any of the sizes out come equipped with the Gripper 4 Unicorn Element stems really nice blue and clear I actually quite like them myself the Gary Anderson Phase 5 AR2 flights, so it's just a kind of different shape of a standard. Now, in terms of the weight, these ones are 23 gram. You can also pick them up from 21, 22, 24, and 25 gram in steel tip, and 18 or 20 gram in soft tip. Now, the length from here. Where the point meets the barrel to here where the stem meets the barrel is 52.2 millimeters and given that it's a straight barrel the way wide, the widest point is 6.4 so you can that's a straight barrel so all the way up 6.4 millimeters great all-rounder for you guys that like a uh, straight barrel dart which brings us on to the grip the grip as you can see here if it wants to focus for me, at the front is a twin ring. So pretty much three quarters of the barrel is at twin ring grip. And then at the back here you have the code grip, which is actually Gary's name spelled out in Morse code. Leading on to obviously those unicorn grip of four stems. The twin ring, I, as it's not too bad in terms of grip actually, the twin ring. The rear, it is a very hit and miss. Especially for me, because I have to catch it the right way where the dashes are here. Otherwise, it doesn't sit right. I have to kind of catch it like that. But, twin ring from the front to the middle. Ideal for most people. Rear grippers, it might take some use to getting used to, to this, obviously, Morse code grip. But, smashing, feeling that. The grip at the front and the middle is basically the same as the Phase 3. Just that standard twin ring, which we have grown to expect for Gary Anderson. They're 90% tungsten and they're going to set you back around 73 quid. So they are quite pricey, but possibly worth it in my opinion due to the packaging that comes in, the three extra sets of flights and the two extra sets of stems. But I've gave you all the necessary information on the Gary Anderson Phase 5s. Let's get them over to the board and we'll see how we got them in. Here we go guys, throwing section for the Gary Anderson Phase 5 World Championship Deluxe Editions. I'm going to use one for the sake of obviously this, it's just easier. As you can see, classic straight barrel shape, twin ring grip, pretty much three quarters of the barrel right up to that Morse code grip. That Morse code grip is tricky. For me personally, I had to get it sitting a certain way in my fingers so it didn't feel as slippy. When I was catching it not in that way, my fingers are all over the place on the grip. For front and middle grippers, as I say, you've got that twin ring, so it's pretty much perfect for you. Come with the volute points, and when the volute points hit the board, it's like a spiral effect in the board, so when you're like, obviously twisting your dart out, it doesn't pull any sizeo, and they stick in the board really, really well, which is a plus. A lot of the Unicorn players I've seen, in fact, I'm pretty sure John Lowe uses the volute points. The two blue rings obviously signifying Gary Anderson's two World Championship wins. 
intermediate gripper for element stems and these Gary Anderson Phase 5 AR2 flights probably around 100 micron, maybe 75, they do feel quite thin but as I was saying on it, this rear grip, it's kind of hard for me to get a good fixation on the grip for the on the Moss code grip I suppose if I was to give it a bit longer rather than a few minutes on the board I would start to get used to it the twin ring is obviously consistent for you middle to front grippers so pretty much perfect for you but rear grippers obviously you need to watch out for this grip overall it's a fabulous dart when I do get the grip right on the rear grip it does fly they do fly really nice I changed the stem and flights. I'm not really a fan of the unicorn stems and flights. I don't know what it is. I prefer different brands of stems and flights. The points, I'd happily use these as points again because they are really, really nice. Now, as you can see, when I spin that, there's a kind of cut on it, which is obviously the volute. Great dart. The price is obviously $72.95, so it is a bit higher end in terms of price. But nonetheless, Gary Anderson darts, classic to us Scottish people. So... I've gave you obviously what I think of these darts in action. Let's go and get wrapped up. And there we go everybody, that was my review of the Gary Anderson Phase 5 World Championship Deluxe Edition. Now I was kindly, well kindly, I got these for a pretty decent steal from um, Darts Review Channel, from Darren, so Darts Review Channel, so a big shout out to Darren who actually made this review happen in a sense so if you've not subscribed to him which I'm assuming most of you have but considering he's one of the original Darts YouTubers go over to his channel and subscribe I will leave a link in the pinned comment these to me are not too bad for a middle to front gripper in terms of where that grip is situated because that moss code grip it does take some getting used to it could be obviously okay for some rear grippers that don't like a lot of grip but for me personally I had to have my fingers sitting in the right position for it to work for me. I could take a bit of time and get used to it, but unfortunately for me, the missus has claimed these because she's a big Gary Anderson fan, so these are no longer mine, they are now the missus. So that's what I think of these anyway. The for rear grippers, not could be okay as I say, but for middle to front grippers grippers rather, you've got that consistent twin ring, which is ideal for most players. The fly through there, really, really nice. As I said in the front section, I would change the stems and flights personally. I don't know what it is about unicorn stems and flights. I just don't go on with them at all. So I don't know what it is. The volute points, <clears throat> I'd definitely use them again in a different set. Maybe in my own customs, which I'm planning on reviewing very soon because there's a few other YouTubers that are sort of reviewing them for me. So I'll be the last one to do it. But... Price wise, 73 quid let's just say, not too bad for what these are in terms of obviously that Moss code grip, the nice box etc. Great set of darts, I'd give them a 9 out of 10 and that's purely because I still think the price is a bit high for what they are. But don't forget to leave a like, subscribe and comment down below if there is anything you want me to review and keep your eyes peeled for my review of the Target 975s which will be next week. Stay safe out there, and of course, keep on darting.